In 1981, Ed and Lorraine performed the exorcism of eight-year-old David, attended by his family, his sister Debbie, and her boyfriend Arnie. The father Gordon in the town of Brookfield was also present. During the exorcism, Arnie invites a demon to enter his body instead of David. Ed witnessed the demon transport itself from David's body to Arnie. He suffered from a heart attack and is taken to hospital in an unconscious state. Ed wakes up at the hospital and reveals to Lorraine that he witnessed the demon enter Arnie's body. Arnie and Debbie return to their apartment. After feeling unwell, Arnie murders his landlord by stabbing him 22 times under the influence of demon. With the support of Warrens, his case became the first American murder trial to claim demonic possession as a defense. The Warrens later discover a satanic curse passed on through a witch totem and met with the former priest who previously dealt with the disciples of the Ram cult. He tells them that an occultist has intentionally left the totem resulting in the creation of curse on the glad cells, causing the possession of David. The Warrens travel to Denver, Massachusetts to investigate the death of Katie, who was also stabbed 22 times. Detectives had found a totem at the home of Katie's friend Jessica, who is missing. Lorraine initiates a vision to recreate the murder and discovers that Jessica had stabbed Katie under the influence of demonic possession. The Warrens travel to the funeral home where her body rests and Lorraine touches the hand of the corpse to help find the location of the occultist. Lorraine in a vision witnessed the occultist attempting to have Arnie killed himself but stops her just in time. Lorraine is threatened by the woman. She tells Ed that the connection works both ways. The Warrens return to their house in Connecticut to investigate further. Drew gives a book of witchcraft he found to Ed and states that in order for the curse to be lifted, the altar in which the occultist operates must be destroyed. When they realize Katie attended nearby Fairfield University, they begin to assume the occultist is operating in the area. Lorraine returns to the former priest for help and he reveals that he had raised a daughter in violation of the requirement of clerical celibacy in the Catholic Church. He tells Lorraine that during his, his research, her fascination for the uh, occult grew, later become the occultist. The former priest gives Lorraine access to the tunnels where she locates the altar and is then found by the occultist, who then kills him. Ed soon arrives and finds his way to the tunnel through a locked drain hole with a sledgehammer. He is briefly possessed by the demon and attempts to kill Lorraine, but she retells him of the time they first met, reminding him of their love. Ed regains his consciousness and destroys the altar, saving himself, Lorraine and Arnie. The occultist arrives at her broken altar only to be killed by the demon she had summoned after failing to complete the curse. Arnie is convicted of manslaughter but ends up serving only five years of his sentence. Press the bell icon for more updates and do like and subscribe.